dear colleague from the Institution of Surveys of Kenya, dear participant to this important land regional conference, first of all, I would like to apologize for not being able to be part of this important moment of discussion around land governance. I've been tasked by the executive director of UN Habitat to represent the institution in important meetings in Brussels. But first of all, let me acknowledge the timely manners of this regional conference for different reasons. First of all, look into the global context. The world is celebrating the consecration of land governance as a driver of achieving sustainable development goal. As we can see it along this sustainable development goal and target, land has become prominent and has been considered by member states as an important element to alleviate poverty, to increase investment, uh, but also to fight others' poverty element in a particular area of people's life. But also, we can notice a stronger commitment from a state to promote appropriate reform, but also to take appropriate measures to make sure everybody has access to tenure security. The second element, why this conference is important, look into Kenyan context. I think there's quite a firm commitment from the government of Kenya to handle poverty but looking in what we call today the big force, which means that looking into food security, uh, looking into ha affordable housing, into investment and health. And this big force cannot be attained without a sound land management system. Today we have an opportunity in Kenya to really address the issue of land governance for the purpose and the benefits of people, but also for investment in Kenya. And for that, Professional has a key role to play. Today we cannot achieve whatever we want to achieve in the governance sector without looking into the technicality of the land sectors. We are talking about geospatial. We are talking about software. We are talking about technology. But what could be the role of professionals in addressing all these issues? As I mentioned it earlier, professional has been the backbone in GLTN, the Global Land Tool Network, because they have been inspiration for innovation. They have been playing key role in driving change at the community level and at the policy level. Sure, we are facing a lot of challenges today. And one challenge I want to mention is the rapid urbanization we are facing, especially in Africa. That's something we can no longer ignore. And we need to be ready to get ready to support government to support local authorities to face those challenges related to the rapid urbanization. It has been proven in the coming years. More than 70% of people will be living in the cities, especially in Africa. And in Kenya, we have experience looking at what happened in Nairobi with the increased density of population in Kenya and traffic. What does it mean in terms of land management? Meaning that we need to look at our planning system, but also our land administration system to cap our with fit for purpose model of land administration that can help local government to work closely with professionals and other land experts to develop you know sound agenda but at the same time offer opportunity to develop sound tools and approaches uh, to anticipate the inequality that growing now in informal settlement in other parts of the cities. As you may know it, GLTN have been working hard over the last 12 months to develop a new vision, a new strategy, and we believe that we can make ourselves relevant as long as we are in line with the sustainable development goal, but also the framework in Africa. That's why I praise this importance of this meeting, why you are looking into sustainable development in Africa. And as you may know it, we have been supporting the African Union, the African Union Declaration on Land Challenges uh, to make sure at least Africa is endowed with skills and policy that can help to transform land as a vector of development, peace and stability. Let me also salute this agreement we signed with the Institution of Surveys of Kenya, through which we want to reinforce our collaboration, because as you may know it, the added value of GLTN is more about working with all actors but also make sure everybody has access to the decision-making place. 
That's why we believe that through this memorandum of understanding between the Global Land Tool Network and the Institutional Survey of Kenya, we'll be able to work together to support the land policy implementation in Kenya through capacity development, through knowledge building, and through implementation of the tools. Sure, there's a long way to go, but we believe that our collaboration through this conference is a key milestone that can allow us to get concrete ideas, but also concrete commitment from us as partners to work together toward implementing GLTN tools at the community level, but also at the national level. I cannot finish this address as well without thinking FAO for this genuine collaboration they have been driving with GLTN in order to support counties in uh, Kenya to establish a land information system that can help unlock the potential and the benefits for local authorities to increase revenues but also to, re uh, to resolve inequalities at the cities and local level. Again, thanks of, I would like to thank everybody for taking time to come to this regional conference and would like to thank as well the organizers, especially the chair of the Institution of Surveyors of Kenya and we look forward to working together and we also we look forward to learning more about the outcome of this meeting. Again, thanks for your time and for listening to me.